us to another exciting episode of Grizzly TV. We have a bunch of new and exciting information in this episode. I'm Lourdes. I'm Trey. And I'm London. You may know them from fundraisers and helping our community. Guess who? It's NJHS. For more information, let's go to News Team 2. I'm here with Miss Russell, Haley Payne, and Quinn Evans, and we're going to talk about Philanthropic February. Miss Russell, what is Philanthropic February? Um, Philanthropic February is where National Junior Honor Society has decided that they want to help others. Philanthropy is helping others, um, being motivated extrinsically, not getting a reward for it, not um, getting attention for it, just doing it because you want to help others. So we decided this month, because it rhymes, um, that we would help others around our community by raising money and donating items. Haley, who are uh, NJHS donating to? We're donating to Drum Farm Center for Children. It's like a foster care program, but uh, they like house the people who are fostering the children. Quinn, what items are the NJHS collecting? Um, next week we are collecting school supplies and hygiene items, and we will also be having a raffle for pie in the face and a BYOD. Back to you. Do you want to sharpen your mind on the subject of the Revolutionary War or even the Civil War? Well, then you should join History Club. Let's go to News Team 3 for more information. Hey guys, I'm here with Miss Ritchie, who teaches 7th and 8th grade social studies, to talk to about History Club. Okay, so what days do you guys meet? History Club usually meets on Thursday mornings at 7.30 in room 811, and anybody is welcome to join us at any time. Sometimes we do meet at different times and days, but I always put that on the announcement. What does History Club do? We do a variety of things. Uh, my main mission is that my History Club students who are fans of history get a, more knowledge about what is going on in the world around them. And uh, we've studied Jesse James, we put together a field trip, we sponsored 80s Day, which is why I look like this today. Um, and that's for the completion of our new project case. We did research on 1985-86, um, what were the top movies, TV shows, songs, who uh, was big in sports and politics, and when they compared those from the past to those of modern time. That sounds very cool. And what's your favorite part about History Club? My favorite part is getting to be with students who are enthusiastic about what we study. Um, because I teach 7th and 8th grade history and all students have to take that, I don't always get just those students who are really into it, who really want a more in-depth knowledge of it. And so it's fun with History Club to explore some of those outside areas. How many students, how many students participate in History Club? Well, we are brand new to Paul Kinder and um, this is our first year. We meet at the same time as Science Club and we are a rather small group. Uh, we usually have anywhere from four to ten members at our meetings. And can you tell us about upcoming things that you'll be learning about? Today? Sure. sure. Um, we, like I said, did the 80s day today. We finished our display case. And um, moving forward, we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to sponsor um, school edited historic films every once in a while and also we are going to uh, be concentrating on the original gangsters um, the mafia and its influence in kansas city the shootout at uh, union station bonnie and clyde who are famous gangsters that came through here in the 1930s well that's very interesting thank you you're very welcome Hello, I'm Seth Guest. And I'm Jason Gross. Welcome back to another episode of Sports Center on Grizzly TV. Last episode, we made our predictions on who we thought was going to win the Super Bowl. But we were both way off, as the Denver Broncos beat the Carolina Panthers 24 to 10. Peyton Manning came out on top, and Von Miller won the MVP. Now that basketball season's over, track season is up and coming, and there's various events that anyone can take part in. There is 100 meter low hurdles, 100 meter dash, 400 meter dash, 800 meter run, 200 meter dash, 800 meter relay, 400 meter relay, and 1600 meter relay. That's the running event. And in the field events, they have shot put, discus, long jump, triple jump, and high jump. So if you're in eighth grade, come out to track. I mean, there's something to do from everybody. Do you know lots of random facts? Do you like competing against other schools? If you answered yes to any of these questions, Scholar Mole might be for you. Let's go to News Team 4 to learn more about Scholar Bowl. 
Hi, I'm Spencer Hancock from uh, New Teams, News Team 4, and I'm here with JP to talk about Scholar Bowl. Uh, Scholar Bowl is basically um, a competition between two schools, and we have a team, other schools have teams, and it's normally trivia-like questions uh, that you buzz into and answer the question, and normally you'd get the point. And if you want to go get into Scholar Bowl, you can talk to Mr. Ming, or maybe one of the people that know that are in Scholar Bowl, like JP and I, and get one of the forms that Mr. Ming hands out, and if you have that form in, you can go to the, all the outside meets, and you can participate as long as you're in seventh and grade. Uh, the, the meets are Tuesdays and Thursdays normally, unless Mr. Ming says not to go, and the practices are normally on Wednesdays after school. We go to different schools, like sometimes we'll compete here or at different schools. I think next week we're holding a tournament yeah. here, and uh, sometimes we go to other schools to compete too. Now we both think you should go into Scholar Bowl because of all the things you can do. It'll teach you different random facts that you really shouldn't know, but <laughs> you'll learn them. And it challenges your brain each and every day, maybe thinking about what might be on the next Scholar Bowl. I'm sure most of you have met our new teacher, Ms. Kemp. She teaches Facts of Life, Bon Appetit, and Fashion 101. Let's go to News Team 5 to hear more information on Ms. Kendall. Hello, I am Jalen Hall from, Grizz from Grizzly TV News Team 5, interviewing Ms. Kendall, the new teacher at Paul Kinder Rose. Hello. So Ms. Kendall, tell us a little bit about yourself. I am a new teacher here at Paul Kinder. This is my first year teaching. I went to school at Missouri State University. Um, pretty much whenever I'm outside of school, I am outside doing pretty much anything as kayaking, hiking, um, horseback riding, that's about it. Okay, what classes do you teach? I teach 6th grade Facts of Life, and then I teach Fashion 101, as well as Bon Appetit for 7th and 8th graders. Alright, um, of the two subjects you teach, which one do you prefer? That is extremely hard to answer because there's so much about each of them that I really enjoy. Um, one thing about Bon Appetit, they cook every single week, so that is really fun to actually see them in action every week. Um, and then with sewing, it's really interesting to watch them start a sewing project for the very first time, being really nervous, and then once they finish their first um, big project, they're super excited about it, and so I think that that is extremely pertinent to know outside of school as well, so I love them all. That's pretty cool. Thank you for your time, Ms. Kendall. Thank you. Back to you in the studio. Next up is academic recognition, where the school has recognized students with a 3.5 grade point average or higher. Let's go to News Team 6 for more information. This month, we honored our students with outstanding academic achievements with our academic award programs. 101 sixth grade students had a GPA of 3.5 or higher. 48 sixth grade students had a 4.0. 94 seventh grade students had a 3.5 or higher. 24 7th graders had a semester 4.0, and 14 7th graders had a cumulative 4.0 within three semesters. 96 8th graders had a 3.5 or higher, with 32 having a semester 4.0, 15 with a cumulative 4.0 over five semesters. 291 students were recognized for outstanding academic achievement this week. 39% of our students were honored this week for having a 3.5 or higher GPA. Thanks students for all your hard work and congratulations. Did you hear that school was canceled tomorrow? What? How do you know that? Well, I saw it on the school's Twitter page. They have tons of information on upcoming events and school closings. What? The school has a Twitter page? Yeah, you should go follow them. At Paul Kinder MS. They also have an Instagram. And a Facebook. Go follow them. But first, let's take a selfie. They are hissing cockroaches, so they, they make a hissing noise in order to protect themselves. So they have these little holes along the sides of their bodies, and that's where they breathe. They can also push that air out of their body to make a hiss noise. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that's that's so cool. It's a California king snake. That's cool. But his ribs are floating ribs. So when that great big mouse passes by, he can push his ribs out and let that mouse pass by, and then his ribs go back into their spot. And he can also do that with his organs. So when that mouse passes by his heart, he moves his heart to one side. That mouse passes by, and his heart moves back over. Pretty crazy, right? Well, that's pretty interesting, isn't that amazing? This week's episode was Cookie Challenge. A cookie challenge is when you put a cookie on your forehead and you try to wiggle it down to your mouth. Let's get to it. Sydney got it. Oh, God, dang it. 
doing it. I don't care. <laughs> Body shirt. <laughs> It's stuck oh in my, my eyeball. I almost got it. I don't even know where mine went. <laughs> <laughs> what? Mine, I don't even know where mine went. Get another one. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're going to run out. How? This is nasty. I wanted the extra one. It's, it's getting in my wide. eye. <laughs> I can't. Oh my god, I said good! It's pushed up! <laughs> oh. Ooh, where'd my cookie go? <laughs> I'm using Yo, my Yo, I lost it. it. Oh my god. <laughs> no, it's my cookie. I lost it. Oh, I found it! <laughs> oh, it's good. Uh. And thanks for watching.